And I think you can't let him run wild here. What do you think, 100 yards, the measuring stick? Always. That is the threshold. You want to keep him under that. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. Demarcus Lawrence in there to get him. And that's sack number 12 for him on the year. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> he gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Beasley now to return. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. This running game so important for them, and they know that. It helped lead them to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards. Let's face it. It's their identity, and that's what they want to play to. They want to be that team that runs the ball really well each and every week, and right now we're seeing a pretty good pattern of that happening. Prescott to throw it. That's caught over the middle by Hurst, and he's taken down inside the 30. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. A first down carry by Elliott. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. On second down, Elliott. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down and four now. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. And the trick play doesn't work. Good reaction there defensively. And it'll be fourth down. And Bailey able to knock it through. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So he splits the uprights and has to be a nice feeling. Right when it left his foot, knew it was good. Yeah, just like a good three-point shooter in basketball, right? Release the ball, fall back on defense without even looking. You know it's going in the hoop. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Colts offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Now Mahomes throwing on second down. And that's incomplete. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Here we go. Blue 45. Blue 45. Play fake there to Hunt. Now Mahomes. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And what did we talk with them about prior to the game? Their ability to move the chains, pick up first downs. So far, 0 for 3 on third down. If that continues, they'll have little chance of winning this one. Here's Beasley. A nice job on the return there. 16 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. 
And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up. But they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking. And I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. So one corner in the books on a cold December afternoon. 10-zip our score. EA Sports NFL Sunday returns following this. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two. They're looking at a second and short yardage to start things out. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Cole Beasley, the intended target, and it's third and short. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. To throw is Prescott, and unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's fourth. I know tight ends love this route because a lot of times they'll fake a block first and get a little bit of space and then come across the middle because in their mind... They're thinking, catch the ball, and then drop the hammer on the little guys in the secondary. Unable to drop the hammer, he just dropped the pass. And this will be touched by a member of the kicking team inside the 20, and it's at the 17-yard line. And the Colts getting ready to go. The results for them so far, not that great. Well, not good at all. Three drives, three punts. Yeah, and now what you're doing is you're looking at your play sheet trying to figure out what you're going against defensively. I wonder, are they showing them something they haven't seen or anticipated in practice and maybe that's throwing them off? Or do they just have to go to a different play calling section and try and run some offense that way? When you're putting together a formula for winning defense, it's exactly what we're seeing in this game. Controlling the line of scrimmage, attacking, and changing everything so that now they're playing in the offense's backfield. They're playing an excellent game. Here's Mahomes to throw. The completion good. This is Eric Ebron. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. Looking right side, and he's got a man. It's Doyle. And they're able to get this one across the 35. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. They yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Here we go now. Green, 39. Green, 39. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's say, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. They'll give him a yard on the play, and it'll be a second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Under four to go now as the clock Three. runs, and they come Three. up on 90. second down. Three. Mahomes going to hand it off to Hunt. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much, as he's down to the 48. Demarcus Lawrence in on the tackle. 
The completion on first didn't get much, and now the run on second doesn't get a whole lot either. Well, if you're a good play caller, you've already looked ahead and anticipated this type of situation. Already down in his play sheet, trying to dial up a big third down play. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Eric Reed. Pass the 20, 10, and he will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. Third down, passing down. They throw the extra defensive back in there for a nickel package, and it worked out. And it's not anything that you would think is just great strategy. It's just that when you have five defensive backs on the field and an obvious passing down, it's a lot tougher to complete a pass. And on that play, they completed it just to the wrong team, and it cost them six points. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Patrick Mahomes on his way out for their next drive. He's got to dig deep here, doesn't he? Team's losing. He's not playing well either. And they always tell you, don't press. You'll make things a little bit worse. But in this particular situation, you try and heighten your play a little bit. So far, he's thrown one interception. He wants to balance that off with at least one touchdown pass in order to get his team back moving forward. Now we've got whistles and a flag. Looked like one of the Colts linemen might have jumped. False start, offense. They expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed down. to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. The false start backs them up five, first and 15. going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there. Second down. No gain on that run. And while this team is down, they're not out of it by any stretch of the imagination. Maybe you just have to think about different style of running in order to get this guy going. Go Blue 45. Blue. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. The Colts on third down, just one for five to this point. Go this now. is going to be Three, third and 13. Three, now we've got whistles and a flag. Looked like one of the Colts linemen might have jumped. Offense. That's going to set him back five yards. Still third down. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now. Third and long. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. Pulled in at the 24. 48-yard punt, seven on the return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Ezekiel Elliott gets ready to go again here on offense as he shuffles onto the field. And he's closing in on that number that all running backs circled beginning of the year, the number 1,000. Could do it on this drive. And you have to think to yourself that this moment, getting to this spot, it started in the offseason, right? Not just the workouts, right? Not just getting yourself physically prepared to play, but mentally, as well as your team, as well as your unit, head coach, offensive coordinator. We run the football. We give you opportunities. 
he's taking advantage of it. And when you get this close to the mark, you just hope things don't tighten up, right? You probably want to get there and get it in your rear view mirror. You really do, don't you? Because now it becomes predominant, and you wonder about play calling as well. Do you want to call plays to get that out of the way, or are you still calling plays to win the game first? That becomes the burden of the play caller. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. But he's got it to Hearns. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And, partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but... I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Patrick Mahomes on his way out for their next drive. And I, I never played quarterback, but I'm thinking as a quarterback, you're a little bit into the game now, second quarter, you're losing, you're not playing well, probably feels like a lot of weight on your shoulders. Certainly does, but it's something that quarterbacks have to be used to because they're always carrying around that weight. So how do they adjust the weight? How do they make it work for them? How do they work against it? Now. That's what we're Three, going to nine, find nine, out going forward. Three, yeah, they'll be trying to get all that weight off his shoulders here on this drive. Mahomes going to throw. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off at the 23. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. How about the big boys snagging one? You don't see that every week. No, you don't, but a lot of them are just reliving their old dreams, going back to when they were in youth football and in high school. They didn't always play defensive line. Some of them actually handled the football, and you can see the flashback when he grabbed that one. Give to Elliott, and he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Sometimes play calls boil down to philosophy. You know you're facing one of the top 10 units against the run in the NFL. So do you decide to keep smashing against them, or do you decide to throw the ball here? Play fake. Here's Prescott. Drops it underneath Elliott. And a stoppage here. A timeout before this third down play takes place as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. In their mind, certainly a field goal try would be a letdown. They have the great starting field position, now facing third down. 
Prescott steps away. And this is going to be intercepted. Quincy Wilson with the INT. Brandon, this is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. Now the fourth-year man from Texas A&M, Kristen Michael. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. The stop for no gain brings up second and 10 from the 20. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Cowboys out on top. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team. Their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? On play action, Prescott. Out to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Jabal Sheard in there to drop him. And his great season continues. 13 sacks for him now on the year. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Prescott now steps away to his left. Oh, he almost had the rare interception. The big fella couldn't hang on, though. Incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and ten. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here we go. Green, 90. Green, 90. On first down, Mahomes. And incomplete on the deep ball. Kareem Hunt is running back, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Credit the secondary and credit the defensive game plan. They've been in his hip pocket all game long. They understood coming in that he was a big-time receiver. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Neutral zone infraction, defense. So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. So the penalty certainly helps them out as they come up on second Green. and five. Blue 45. Blue 45. They'll run it here with Hunt. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup there, and it moves the sticks. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gain, they can run Green. that play on any down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got this one across midfield in the Cowboy territory. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Green, 39. They go play fake. Mahomes. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Demarcus Lawrence in there to drop him, and his great season continues. 13 sacks for him now on the year. 
So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offense. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Ryan Grant with touchdown number six. are able to cut into this lead. Now Adam Vinatieri for the point after. Vinatieri able to tack on the PAT and that'll cut the lead to 17-7. Vinatieri out there to kick this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. And now here come the Cowboys. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession. That was pump the football because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing but control the game offensively, put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding him with no game. It's caught on the right side, Williams. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. The Cowboys on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This time it's third and three. Prescott from the gun. And he finds Beasley complete. And he brings this up to the 46, good enough for the first. A Dallas first down, Prescott hook it up with Beasley. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. He hits Beasley right side. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. That throw good for four. It's second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Throwing, Prescott, incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Holding offense. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. Now a play fake here on first down. He'll buy some time right. Room to run inside the 40. He'll get 11 yards back on the scramble as it brings up second down. Partner as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Hey. The give is to Elliott. And he's taken down inside the 30. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. 
And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit you. Stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you've stopped the clock and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep grinding clock. Off the play fake, Prescott. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. John Simon in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. Enough to start to have a good drive, quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Cowboys with a the football. They'll be looking to tack onto their lead as we get set for the fourth. The Cowboys on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and 17. Now Prescott. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions. And here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield. He was standing in the pocket. But just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. So they settle for just the three. But clearly right now, anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt. Obviously, a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off. But it's still eight up time. Got points. So... While it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. And the Colts coming out now. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with it? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49 fourth quarter every drive so critical and you figure may only get one more shot after this so a touchdown's imperative on this drive it is but you also have to think to yourself in play calling don't hold anything back don't save it for the second touchdown you got the first one for the second one to even matter Here we go. Green, 39. Green, 39. Mahomes to throw on second down and they're not able to hook up there incomplete Brian Grant the intended target and it's third and short I think that's a big-time play there because the slant route is really hard to cover because the timing is so quick. But able to see it, diagnose it, and get to the football, that's why he's able go, to bat now. it away. Green, 90. Green, 90. Hunt, hunt, hunt. Yeah, hunt. Now it's Mahomes again. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. That little arc on it, he's got to find a way to get his head around to make the play in the football. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Tackle made there by Chidabe Awuzie. You gave the stat early on that he's one of just nine guys to go over 1,000 yards last year, and then you said they needed to bottle him up for under 100 yards. He's way under 100 yards. Bottom line, he's had virtually no success Green. whatsoever. Green. And because of that, among a couple other reasons, they're down on the scoreboard. They'll run. This is Hunt. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. Well, as the play call comes in on third down, you have to think about four down territory here. Down a few touchdowns, they need right, points, and they need big points. Right, First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football Green, game. 90. Green, 90. 
They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And he's going to find Doyle in the end zone for a cold score. Jack Doyle, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Colts able to get this back within a touchdown. And he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. Vinatieri out there to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. Again, it's Elliott. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and ten. Here's Elliott. And that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Marquise Lee, the intended target. And now it's third down. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past. The biggest teaching point, get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. On third down, it's Prescott. Dancing to his left. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. And they'll let this one go right on the outskirts of the 10. They'll down it at the 11-yard line. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, then their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. And I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. Do they want to be methodical, or do they want to take the big strike and go after it right now? Mahomes now on first down. And he's going to dump this off to his running back, Hunt. Only able to make it to the 15 after the nice move. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command it, make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Back to throw. And nearly intercepted there. That would have been ball game if he had clinched it and caught it. 
Instead, it gets them one more chance here on fourth down. This defense has watched their lead dwindle away. This is where they really need to bow up. They executed well there. And it's often hard after you've played really well early, and then you kind of relax a little bit. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Lewis. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. That is now seven, seven interceptions between last week and this week. Three in this game, four a week ago. And I saw the head coach write on his play sheet, make a little note. I hope he's writing self-scout. Bring in the guys that scout games for you with a different eye and watch him and see what's going on. And maybe they can pick up what the flaws are and hopefully they can correct them. A big hitter. That one goes for 40 yards. Do my eyes deceive me or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Elliott, and he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Ezekiel Elliott with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Cowboys turn that interception into a touchdown. Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm -hmm. at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Keep 15. Keep... Here we go. Green, 90. Green, 90. Mahomes will try again on second down. Throw left side complete. That's Doyle. And before they can run this third down play, we're going to get a timeout. As it comes with a minute 25 left to go in the contest. The Colts on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities. Three for nine. This will be third and five. Green, 39. Green, 39. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked off by the safety, Eric Reed, And what a return as he brings this all the way back down to the 20-yard line. Yet another interception, and I just had to double-check my math. But it is now eight between last week and this week. Well, I just used the calculator. I didn't worry about <laughs> double-checking it. But the thing that always throws me when you see quarterbacks in this type of a bad spot, they're trying to figure out what they can do to change it. And sometimes they try too hard and they never get out of it. And that's where he is right now. He's just locked in in a really bad way. And another timeout taken by the Colts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Now Elliott. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. One final kneel down here as it comes inside the 42nd mark, and that should be enough to put this one on ice. 
Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something.